sense the fanatic priests and the fanatic politicians who exploit the gullibility and the uneducated mass, that exploitation is very, very subtle and very sophisticated. If you clearly see when the partition took place in India and Pakistan, it's a very, very subtle political maneuver which has happened. Mm. Now, the hurt of the Hindu community there and the hurt of the Muslim community there, I think psychologically, both of them have carried a massive hurt body with them. All right? Most of us in my age, we have not experienced the partition, but the transference of our ancestors, my, our parents, of the psychological hurt body to us, all right, makes our perception very, very distorted. So do you think then this is going to be, a, and I'll keep it with you, Swamiji, this is going to require a generation to change feelings? I mean, how do you go about, you're both moderates, okay. how do you go about turning uh, this around? Okay, for me, it's not generation. If there's darkness which existed for thousands of years, just a light, can dispel the darkness. I think it's a light of understanding, the light of education, that the chaos right, is created by fanatism mm. and not openness. I think the biggest problem is the three levels of religion for me. There is a body of religion, there is a mind of religion, and there's a soul of religion. The conflict emerges, people see the, only the body of religion with its rituals and the dress, which mm. difference is there. The mind of religion is which un makes you understand the kind of body, but the soul of religion, I think, is same. Openness, purity, clarity, compassion. I think that is missed. If we can highlight, if every religious leader can highlight, let's connect to the core and the soul of religion mm. rather than the periphery of religion, right? Now your, your skin is fair, my skin is dark, but the blood is same with both of us. I think that highlighting is the most important dimension which is required. Doctor Engineer.